Mold is a form of fungi, the most versatile and important decomposers on the planet. Fungi are a lot bigger than bacteria and can rot just about anything. Really within about a week, uh, the fungi had taken strong hold of the bread and the fruit bowl, all the softer fruits were starting to mold quite rapidly. In our kitchen, mold is also on the meat, competing with the bacteria for dominance. But it's the mold on the bread that's caught Patrick's attention. Down the microscope, he's looking at which ones have managed to gain control. What we're actually seeing is a battle between two different types of fungi. One of them, the one in the background, the kind of gray green colored one is a penicillium, and the yellow one at the front is aspergillus. And there's a fight going on. There's a real competition for nutrients here. They're both trying to outcompete each other and, and grow across the surface of the bread. The kitchen has turned into a war zone, and each mold is using powerful chemical weapons to try and kill off its competitor and other rival decomposers like bacteria. In the case of penicillium, the toxin it produces to win the battle for decay has turned out to be highly beneficial to us. We call it penicillin. But not all moulds are good for us. Usually, the only clue that decay has taken hold is the occasional spot of mould on a stale piece of bread. Mould that many of us simply scrape off before popping in the toaster. If you've got some mould on your bread, scrape it off isn't going to get rid of it completely. It grows deep into the bread. Generally, I wouldn't eat it, I would throw it in the trash. However, it depends what kind of fungus is growing on the bread. It could be something fairly harmless like penicillium, or it could be a toxic species such as aspergillus. Aspergillus produces all kinds of nasty toxins depending on the type. Some of these toxins are known to cause cancer, others will make you very sick. So it's certainly not a good idea to eat a piece of moldy bread. In close-up, this is a world of unexpected beauty. These filaments on the surface of the bread are the mold's fruiting structure. Each spore head is packed with individual spores, all waiting to be released to grow into new colonies. <laughs> 